What's going on guys? Here I have the Ecovax T20 floor cleaning robot. Now this will automatically mop your house as well as vacuum. The vacuum has an auto empty dustbin with multiple months of storage. And the mopping feature has a clean and dirty water tank. So you don't need to clean it each time. It also has hot water mop washing. Let's go ahead, unbox it, set it up and check it out. So right away in the box, we have a quick start guide. We have the D-Bot vacuum cleaner itself. And we have the dock located here. Pushing the button on the bottom here releases the auto empty dustbin. And at the top of the Ecovax, we have the clean and dirty water tank. You can see dirty water is on the left and clean water is on the right. Now let's take a look at the Ecovax D-Bot robot itself. So right away, it looks like we have the two mop pads. Instruction manual with warranty information. Power cord for the dock, cleaning brush for the robot, the side bristles, here is the robot which features LiDAR at the top, we've got the clean and power button, this is the bumper here. Sensors along the side, front, and other side. The mop will automatically push up and down. So when it's on carpet, it'll suck it up. And then when it's mopping your hardwood, it'll go ahead and push it towards the ground. This robot features rubber rollers. These are better for uh, long hair so it doesn't get tangled into the robot. Let's go ahead and plug in the dock and set it up. So to set up the D-Bot, we're gonna plug in one end of the power cord to the rear. We can route the wire along this channel. And then we simply just plug this into the wall. And now we take the D-Bot. These are the rear contact sensors for charging. And we're gonna go ahead, push it into the dock and let it charge. And while that's charging, I'm gonna go ahead, grab my clean water tank and fill it up. So to fill up the water, we simply just fill this tank here to the max line and reinsert this into the robot dock and go ahead and close the lid. Now, while that robot is charging, we'll go ahead and set up the mobile app and this is where those quick start guide instructions come into use. You go ahead, scan this on your phone and you can go ahead and download the app. We'll go ahead and create an account. Agree to the user agreement. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit register. Enter an email and a password. And once you're registered and signed in, it's gonna ask you to name your home, hit enter now. Now we can hit add, access the camera, and we're gonna scan the robot's QR code that is underneath its cover. going to ask us for a Wi-Fi password. Hit next. And I've switched on the robot. Hit next. Briefly press the reset button for one second. One second. Ready for network setup. Hit next. Yep. 
join the Ecovax Wi-Fi. Okay, name your robot, hit next. Enter your time zone, hit enter. And we're gonna go ahead and update the robot. Gonna allow automatic updates. And the robot will go back to its station. All right, so there you go. That's the setup for the Ecovax T20. If you wanna use it, you can go ahead and tap that power button. However, to get the most useful features out of the robot, you're gonna to wanna to use the app. Let me go ahead and walk you through the app. So I'm gonna to tap to launch Ecovax. And if you tap on auto cleaning, it'll automatically just start cleaning um, using its auto features. Recharge will send it back to the dock. And if we hit enter smart cleaning, we can find all of our settings and configure the robot. So you can see here, it's used its LiDAR to map out the floor plan in my home, different rooms. Um, you can set different settings for the room. Say you only want a mop room too, you don't want it to vacuum, or you want to vacuum it stronger um, or less strong in a certain room because of a certain type of carpet. To set schedules on the app, you simply drag it to the right and you tap on this daily cleaning and that allows you to set schedules, which is what I have. So every morning uh, the robot cleans, you know, right when my alarm goes off, by the time I'm ready to come downstairs, the house is fully clean. Tap the play button to go ahead and start the robot. Station features tells you about the clean and dirty water tank, as well as, you know, you can tell it to clean the mop pad, empty dustbin, um, and you have your hot air drying, which is turned on right now because I used it earlier. Uh, if you scroll down from here, this is the cleaning efficiency. So you can have it on standard, deep, and fast. Uh, pretty much what it means, standard is standard, deep gives you a thorough clean, and then fast is uh, more for fast cleaning. Deep edge cleaning, cleans the edges better. Takes a little bit longer time but you can turn that on. Uh, you can change the cleaning strategy for the carpet, cleaning sequence for the different rooms, and things like the language um, sound and things like that. Also, you have the cleaning preference right here, and that is good if you want to say vacuum only, mop only, you want to do a vacuum and mop, <clears throat> or you want mop after vacuum. Cleaning times means how much do you want the robot to clean, so it'll finish one cycle, but you can have it do two cycles as well. Uh, you have the suction power here, and you can set it to max. So that's pretty much an overview for the app. I'm gonna go ahead and start the robot and show you guys it in action. So you can see when it's on carpet, it lifts the mops up. And here it's going on to hardwood. So here's a quick snapshot of the robot's mopping feature. And you can see here's the water. It does a pretty good job at cleaning. So that's a quick overview on the DBOT T20. I will be doing a thorough review of that one there versus the RoboRock Q Revo. So stay tuned for that. Um, at first glance, I do feel like the T20 does a better clean. The user interface is not as good, but if you are just buying it for cleaning power, it does seem to marginally be better than the Q Revo. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find the video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. Check out more videos like these on the Roborock Q Revo and the DBOT T20 on my channel. Subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.